Website builders have become a popular option for individuals looking to quickly and easily create a website for their business. And over the last few years, website builders have evolved, becoming more affordable, easy to use and sophisticated in terms of the dynamic features that they offer. However, with the rise of website builders, there are notable issues that you do need to consider when choosing a website builder to build your website. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back. I hope you're all doing good. Now today I wanna to help you decide if website builders are a good option for you based on your personal and business requirements by sharing the pros and cons of website builders for small business. Okay, now before we get into it, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and break down the pros and cons of website builders for building your small business website. <music> Okay, so the leading advantage and reason why individuals go for website builders over getting their website built by a professional web developer is because of the associated price tag. With popular website builders like Shopify, Wix and Squarespace, prices start from $0 through to around $30 per month for a premium small business website. However, with the free plans that some website builders offer like Wix, Webly, Google Sites and many others, you do have many limitations like ads on your website, a branded non-personalized domain name and more. Compared with getting your website built by a professional web developer, you're looking at thousands of dollars upfront and $35 plus on top of that monthly for hosting, management and site updates etc. So pricing is a big advantage for website builders. Next is the ease of use. Website builders are ideal for beginners that have little to no experience in web design. Many website builders have a simple drag and drop builder that allows anyone to simply drag and drop elements and add content to their website and then simply hit publish when you're ready to go live. Most website builders also offer free professional website templates to build from and with many website builders you do not need to worry about hosting, emails and support as website builders are all in one platforms that have all these complementary and essential features for building an online presence all in one place. Now, if you're looking to grow your small business and you require more personalized and advanced features down the track, then most often than not, you will grow out of the limitations that website builders provide. Now, you do not own your website with website builders. This is the issue, not just the limitations and lack of customization freedom for more complex websites, but when you grow your website and you require new features, the fact is most likely you'll have to build your new website from scratch. Unfortunately, if you want to migrate your website, which you don't actually own or particular designs, pages and other elements, you will not be able to. Website builders make it very difficult to transition out of their platform. So if you're looking to grow and expand your website, make sure that the more advanced plans on the website builder that you go for are sufficient when you outgrow your basic plan. And if the advanced plans for that website builder are not sufficient enough for your needs, then don't bother going for that website builder as you'll encounter unnecessary pain later down the track. Also, work out the actual costs you will be paying monthly. This can be significantly higher than expected. For example, with Shopify, you might decide that the $29 per month basic plan is all you need. However, you might not have calculated the additional apps that you might need, for example, email marketing, SMS marketing, upscaling, and other apps that increase the performance of your Shopify store. And these can all add up, and before you know it, you're close to, if not paying more than $100 per month. And this adds up over years. So ensure you've worked out your monthly costs up front with website builders. 
Also, with website builders, you have SEO, search engine optimization limitations, compared with if you decide to go for a custom professionally built website. And basically, this means it's going to be harder to rank your website on search engines like Google with a website builder. Okay, so who are website builders best suitable for? In our opinion, individuals that have a limited budget, want to build their own website, have limited website requirements, are not looking to grow into a larger, more complex website, and are looking to quickly and easily launch their online presence with a simple website. Website builders are becoming more viable and innovative for all types and sizes of websites. However, for the time being, it's important to consider their current limitations. And there we have it guys, that is it for this comprehensive breakdown of the pros and cons of website builders for small business. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like below this video and subscribe to the channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.